Biola University is proud to celebrate the accomplishments of the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021. You did it. Congratulations on persevering, enduring, and completing your studies. Today, you join a community of more than 60,000 Biola alumni who have been equipped in mind and character to make an impact for Christ all around the world. Please join us in celebrating the accomplishments of these graduates with a round of applause. And now, please welcome Biola University President Barry Corey. No, please welcome the classes of 2020 and 2021. You are the stars today. <laughs> welcome to commencement numero six of nine. Top of the sixth inning. But it's a little bit maybe more like uh, cricket than baseball because it's going on for three days. So. Um, this is uh, nothing tomorrow, Mother's Day. If you're a mom out there, wave your hand. Happy Mother's Day, moms. God bless you. We love our moms at Biola University. Yeah, it is on behalf of the Board of Trustees that I welcome you to our spring uh, Sun in Your Eyes 2021 commencement pod style. So honored to have you join us on campus for this very special commencement service. This has been without a doubt uh, the most unusual, disruptive, challenging, exhausting, protracted season. But we are together today. Thanks be to God. And I don't know if there are very many that are having graduations like this across LA County, but we are, you're here, and I'm happy. Thank you. Yeah. You don't know what it's like to sit in that office right up there where I perch uh, for the last 13 months and just watching birds and squirrels and grass grow, and now you're here. So my heart is deeply warmed. Um, this is a very emotional moment for all of us to see you back together again and see the light getting brighter and brighter on the horizon. Graduates, you've made it. We welcome each of you here today back on campus, those of you who are graduating, as well as your friends and family who have joined you, are sitting here with you, as well as those who are watching online. We have uh, those who are virtually joining us for this spring 2021 commencement, and thank you for joining us. Wherever you are in the world, you are welcome here as well. And graduates, um, what a year it's been. You've worked hard for your degrees, especially overcoming some of these pretty big obstacles this last year. And I want to thank God for bringing you to Biola, and I thank God that you're leaving uh, Biola. And you know what I mean. It's time, right? You've... Um, you finished the course. Uh, I wish you great joy as you receive your degrees. Graduates, you've made us proud. You really have. And each of you has a story to tell and a lifetime to live out the calling that God has for you in ways that you can be this faithful presence to our world. You've been strengthened in mind and character through your Biola education. And I believe uh, very strongly that Biola has been strengthened because of you. So thank you for uh, your investment in Biola uh, because we are a better university because of you, and we are profoundly grateful, and we pray that your education, rich in timeless values of God's truth, will help you continue to live lives of meaning, of excellence, and of influence. This past year, we've had a lot of reasons to give thanks. As tough as it, it's been, God has been faithful to us, but I want to recognize the obvious, and there have been some painful losses, and during um, difficult times during this very long period of recovery, but I, I'm convinced that Paul was right uh, when he said that suffering leads to perseverance, and perseverance leads to character, and character leads to hope. So just a word of exhortation to you on that journey from suffering to hope. There are a couple of rest areas along the way. One's called perseverance, and one's called, called character building, and don't Disney fast pass your way from suffering to hope without seeing what's going on in your own life as you learn about perseverance and you see how your character is even being strengthened. And speaking of hope, uh, early this week, I, I kind of walked this lawn and laid my hands on every chair, not in some kind of like magical way, but just praying over you, graduates, praying that God would 
watch over you, give you hope in this season. You precious souls, you beloved children of God, pray that you be filled with Christ's love and grounded in truth and empowered by the spirit. And, and, and God would provide for you and watch over you and have favor upon you as, as you live out your lives as faithful witnesses to the gospel. So may God give you wisdom and favor and joy throughout your life, come what may. And I'm not alone. Many of Biola have been praying for you and we're not going to stop. Not only have uh, we been encouraging you and praying for you, but others have as well. And, and we've got some very special people here tonight that I want to recognize. And those are the people that are sitting with you or maybe watching from home. So I'm just wondering, are there any moms and dads here? Stand up if you're a parent. We want to say thank you for all that you have done. Way to go, parents. How about grandparents? If you're able to stand up as well, we're the grandmoms and granddads. Yeah. Look at you. Y'all look so young. Hard to believe. Thank you, grandparents. I don't know if there are any um, siblings or spouses or children. Where are you? Stand up. Get to your feet. Give it up to your brothers and sisters. And I can't imagine the stories, but there have been a lot of sacrifices that made this day possible for our graduates. And you are uh, the ones that were sacrificing so much. So thank you for entrusting uh, these students to us. We do see them as our sacred trust. And uh, we pray that today and the years to come affirm through their lives the worth of their Biola education. So all of you as our guests, we honor you for celebrating with us today. And um, it's, a, it's a special day. I also know that some of you may be the first graduates, maybe the first in your family to receive a college degree. So we're our first gen Biola students. Stand up. We want to say thank you to you and congratulations. First gen students, look at this, all over the yard. How about uh, global students, those who are here from nations around the world, we're our global students, stand up as well. And I'm not sure we have any students that have served or are serving in the armed forces. Um, if you are, but anyone who has or is, uh, we just feel like it's a special time to recognize you for the service you've given. So if you have or, sir, or are serving in the armed forces, please stand up so we can thank you as well. Certainly among those who have contributed so much to make this day possible are the brilliant and dedicated faculty members in each of our nine schools. Tonight, we have some faculty representing um, the professors at the Kroll School of Business. Uh, faculty, you are the heart and soul of this institution. Uh, students, you know them, and they know you by name. They care about you. They give you counsel, not only for the curriculum in their courses, but also on the contours of your life in so many different ways. And um, I am so indebted to the faculty here who are teachers, who are mentors, who are researchers, who are pr practitioners. And we've got a handful of them over here. So stand up representing the Kroll School of Business faculty right over there. And as one of the only uh, colleges or universities around that's doing something in person uh, like this, you, uh, you can't imagine uh, how much work went into the details here. And we just have an incredible, incredible events team transforming this lawn, to a a lawn into an arena and, and, and so many uh, more details that were involved. So I want to thank the Biola facilities and events and campus safety and others. You can't see them because they're still working behind the scenes, but let's express our appreciation with me for them. So yes, we are, though we're having this in nine installments, we are one community, thousands of outstanding students and faculty and staff reflecting the 113 year tradition of Biola being biblically centered, Christ exalting, academically robust, compassion oriented with the full expectation and confidence that our best days are still before us. I know that's true and I believe that for you as well. And you tonight, 
graduates are joining the ranks of 64,000 plus alumni of Biola University. And this marks a milestone in your journey. One does not end with this degree, but today we're welcoming you into another community, and that is the community of Biola alumni. This global network of Biolans is here for you. So wherever you find yourself in the world, we want to support you. We want to be a resource for, for you. We want to continue your education with you. We want to make sure that we're providing you the quality, communication, and connection that you need. So we are going to do our best to keep you informed, and, and please do likewise. It's a great day, overwhelmed with joy right now. So please join me in standing for our invocation by Professor Thomas Wilson and remain standing for the hymn led by Dr. Todd Guy, our Dean of the School of Fine Arts and Sciences. Please pray with me. O oh God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you great thanks for this glorious day of celebration and live regathering. We thank you for the gift of your mighty presence today in our assembly. Lord, please accept our thanks and praise for all you are, all you have done for us, and the fact that you have never left or forsaken us over this latest challenging season. May all of our distresses and apprehensions prove to be Christ's school to teach us the great lesson of humility and to make us fit for greater service. We acknowledge that you are the author and finisher of faith, that the whole work of redemption is yours alone, that every good work or thought found in us is the effect of your power and grace. We thank you for the extraordinary blessings we have this day, for Biola University, the social joys of family and friends who share this day with us, the ability to serve others, minds to care for our fellow man, and opportunities to serve you. And we thank you especially for these gifted, talented, and fully ready students who are about to be launched into a new season of life, having earned a degree from Biola University, to go about doing business as ministry and service throughout all the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen, thank you, Professor Wilson. If you're glad to be here tonight, say amen. Amen. We are so glad you're here. Let's remain standing and lift our voices up in song tonight, singing that great hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy is our Lord, our Lord God Almighty. Lift it up with me tonight and glorify his name. Holy, holy, holy. song shall rise to thee. Sing it out. Holy, holy. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. On that second verse, holy, 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 though the darkness hides. glory may not see. Only thou art holy. There is none beside thee. Perfect in power, in love and purity. One more time. He is our great, great God. Then sings my soul. 
Oh, my Savior God, to Thee, lift it to Him. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome one consider all the worlds thy hands have made I see the stars I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder thy power throughout the universe displayed sing it out now then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Amen. Thank you for that excellent singing. You may be seated. The word of the Lord, Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generations of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the king of glory. Professor Harmon, thank you. You brought it. The word of the Lord. Amen. Don't you love Les Harmon, students? Wow. Our commencement speaker today exemplifies many of our aspirations for you, our graduating students. A life of conviction, service, and excellence. Applying his deep Christian faith to his vocation in the sphere of commerce and finance and economics and executive leadership. The name Andrew Kroll will sound familiar to today's graduates from the school that bears his family name. The son of Donald and Suzanne Kroll, Andrew is the vice chairman of wealth management for D.A. Davidson and Company, an investment firm here in Southern California. The Kroll family has deep roots in Los Angeles and a legacy of leadership in the financial service industry. You see, Andrew's grandfather, Warren Kroll, founded Kroll, Whedon and Company in 1932 on the strength of values like trust and integrity, virtues embodied by his grandson and our commencement speaker today. The firm's values have always been to place the interests of the customer first, a legacy bequeathed to Andrew's father, Donald Kroll Sr., and then to Andrew, as well as to his brother, Donald Jr. Another interesting piece for you is that the Kroll family are descendants of Biola's founder, Lyman Stewart. As the Stewarts stood alongside this institution in its early years in the 20th century, so the Kroll family has stood with us into the 21st century. Susie Kroll, Andrew's mother, who sadly passed away on New Year's Eve just four short months ago, 
was a dear friend of Biola University. In recognition of her support, service, and leadership, Biola's Board of Trustees voted to name our School of Business after this very generous couple, Donald and Suzanne Kroll. Fourteen years ago, Andrew, you spoke at the groundbreaking of the building, off to my right, in which Kroll School students and faculty have committed to being an educated community, excellence in what they do, committed to the understanding that business is ministry. Andrew knows that his mother meant so much to this university as, wife, as much as, it, as she did to my wife Paul and me. She was an encouragement, even in times of pain and illness. I would put in my calendar regular times to call her up, and every time I called your mother, Andrew, um, she would give me joy. When I tried to encourage her, she would encourage me. Never one to complain about any of the situations that she was in. Always good to love this institution and to remind us of her regular prayers. Andrew holds degrees from Stanford University, and the London School of Economics and Political Science. An active community leader, he serves on the board of Five Acres Children's Aid Society, dedicated to the care of our most vulnerable community members, as well as chairing the board of the YMCA of Metropolitan Los Angeles. And I'm so glad he is also joined today by his wife, Carrie, over there. Carrie Wave, let's welcome Carrie. Thank you for being with us today, Carrie, as well. And happy Mother's Day, Carrie. Now, on a personal note, uh, Andrew has become a very dear friend of mine, a beloved brother, and every once in a while we get together for breakfast or talk on the phone and encourage one another, and that means the world to me. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker for spring 2021, Mr. Andrew Kroll. Thank you, President Corey and Dean Lindblad, for this uh, incredible honor to address the 2020 and 2021 graduates of the Kroll School of Business. With my apologies to all of you in advance, if you were expecting Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg to grace this stage, you just got me. If you were to follow the popcorn trail of my life, you would see a very windy road. When I came to the Lord in sixth grade through a Fuller Seminary student, I thought that I might pursue a life in ministry. Then in high school, having found some success on the baseball field, I decided that perhaps getting a business degree while playing baseball at the collegiate level was my future. That was right up until I ended up in a back brace and was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. At that point, baseball was clearly off the table, but now that God had shifted my focus off sports, ministry came back into view. It was then that I became a youth leader at my church, mentoring middle school students. During my junior year at university, my, shif my focus shifted yet once again. This time, it was an interest in international business. You see, I was studying economics in the Loire Valley of France when I got bit by the bug. Perhaps some large multinational entertainment company was in my future. Intent on making that a reality, but not still being entirely certain, I attended graduate school in London, and this experience further cemented my plans to go international. Upon graduation, however, I was unable to obtain a work permit overseas so I returned stateside in hopes of hopefully landing a job and quickly going back overseas with a multinational company. Instead, I ended up at an advertising agency in Pasadena with a very unique clientele. Our clients were exclusively nonprofit organizations like World Vision, Prison Fellowship, and Habitat for Humanity. It certainly seemed far, far afield of what I envisioned, but it was there that I met the woman who had changed my life. Two years after that first meeting, we were married, and 29 years and two grown children later, I can say that that detour was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. 
I made the jump into finance and wealth management just six months before our son Thomas was born, and I've remained in that field for the past 26 years. So graduates, the only reason I wanted to take you down my windy road is to encourage you. If you're not entirely certain of what you're going to do immediately after graduation, or even if you do know, it's going to be okay. You're not alone. But I also want to confess to you that all along my circuitous path, I found myself questioning. Questioning my faith, questioning whether I was really doing what God had called me to do. You see, I took literally the words of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. So why was mine so curvy? Was I not trusting in him, submitting to him? Was I following my will and not his? I'm really not saying this to be overly dramatic, but rather to confess to you that I honestly had doubts and questions all along the journey. My path wasn't unfolding the way I was so certain it would, and yet, and yet, with the benefit of hindsight and being able to witness so many blessings and learnings along the path, I could see God's hand in it. At the time, I couldn't always see it, didn't always feel it, but I simply prayerfully considered what was before me and took individual steps of faith that if I stumbled or detoured, the Lord would bring me back. God was working on me, developing me, transforming me, preparing me, and what looked like detours were actually God's straight path for my life. It's a paradox, for sure, but then again, I'm sure that more than one of the Israelites wondered why is the God that just parted the Red Sea having us wander around in the desert for 40 years? Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So graduates, what's next for you? Some of you know exactly, others of you aren't quite so sure, and some of you may be confused and a little nervous right now. It's going to be okay. Jeremiah 29.11 seems appropriate here. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Graduates, you have been through so much these past four years. You've left home, gotten your first taste of independence, you've met and made friends from different backgrounds, ethnicities, cultures, you've had your beliefs challenged, maybe shaken at times, hopefully strengthened, and you learned new skills and acquired lots and lots of knowledge. And over the past 15 months, you've been challenged and stretched yet further as COVID disrupted everything. How we study, how we learn, how we work, how we socialize. And yet you didn't just survive, you overcame. We are so proud of you. Your resilience, your perseverance, your faith and your optimism gives us hope as we look out to you, the future leaders of tomorrow. As I look at your faces, I see leaders. I see marketplace ministers. As you launch from this place, remember that there's a mission field wherever you land. Biola didn't just equip you with knowledge to go out of the, into the workplace, but you were also equipped to be missionaries. You will become marketplace ministers. The vision of this business school is to equip students to thrive personally and professionally, empowered with the integrity, skill, and conviction to lead the modern workplace. You are professionals with a mind for business, but also a heart for Christ. So go and use both to change the world. Be a disruptor. Today, right now, you're going to cross a threshold. You're going from the familiar and safe of this community into the unfamiliar and somewhat unknown world of business. You are ready. You've got this. This week, LA County entered into the yellow tier, the least restrictive tier since we entered the pandemic over a year ago. Traffic, unfortunately, is starting to increase on our freeways. People are beginning to dine indoors at restaurants. Sports are welcoming back fans and yet, 
we're still being required to mask, still being said to keep social distance, to avoid crowds, and to be vigilant. It's clearly going to take more time, but we're beginning to see the finish line when life as we remembered it will eventually return. So today, you launch out into the local and global community at the very same time that the world itself is reopening. My exhortation to you is this. Even if the world is operating at reduced capacity, go all in, 100%. And even if the world is masking, drop yours. I'm speaking spiritually, of course. Be fully committed, fully transparent. Let your light shine. Colossians 3.23 exhorts, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not human masters. So graduates of 2020 and 2021, you are ready. This is your time. The marketplace and the business community await, and they need what you have. They need your knowledge, your creativity, your entrepreneurship, but more than anything, they need your savior. They need you to bring the light of Christ with you all along the twists and turns of your path. Jesus was the greatest disruptor in human history. He commissioned a group of 12 ordinary people from modest backgrounds and changed the world. That same Lord is now commissioning you, graduates of 2020 and 21. Go out and be disruptors. Change the world. May God bless you as you go. You got this. Thank you. Andrew Kroll, thank you for that very timely reminder to this graduating class and actually to all of us that indeed God's, God makes crooked roads straight. Thank you. Let's express appreciation one more time, Mr. Andrew Kroll. Now it is time to transition in this commencement service as we move from speeches to you. So we are now going to begin the conferral of degrees process, and I'd like to invite to the podium the board chair of Biola University, Mr. Michael Maples, who will make some comments on our mission. And when Mr. Maples is done, he will be followed by our provost and senior vice president, Dr. Deborah Taylor. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Michael Maples. The mission of Biola University is biblically centered education, scholarship, and service, equipping men and women in mind and character to impact the world for the Lord Jesus Christ. We are grateful for these committed Christian students who have come to Biola for this reason. It is now a distinct privilege for us to present these diplomas to those who have finished their course and have demonstrated sustained intellectual growth and Christian commitment. Graduates, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I congratulate you and pray God's best for each of you as you seek to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ in the days and the years to come. Well done. In this afternoon's ceremony, we are honoring you students, undergraduate and graduate, who are receiving your degrees from the Kroll School of Business. Your dean, Dr. Gary Lindblad, will ask for you to stand and then I will present you to the president who will officially confer your degrees. And then you will proceed to the stage where you will go across the platform and receive your diploma and a photograph. To each of you who are graduating, on behalf of the faculty and all of our academic leaders, we just want you to know how much joy we have in these events where we get to celebrate all of your accomplishments. You've worked so hard. You've turned in lots of papers and projects and assignments, but you have finally finished and you are at this moment. So we are just going to celebrate with you today and we want you to launch into the world to shine brightly for the Lord Jesus Christ. Congratulations. At this time, Dr. Lindblad, come forward. Will the candidates for baccalaureate and post-baccalaureate degrees in the Kroll School of Business please rise? Time to stand up.
Today, we honor the candidates for post-baccalaureate and baccalaureate degrees in the Donald and Suzanne Kroll School of Business. This includes those graduating with the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, the Bachelor of Science in Accounting, the Bachelor of Science in Business uh, Management, uh, Bachelor of Science, and, and also, uh, which is our online uh, degree program, okay? Also, uh, our graduate students earning the Master of Business Administration, or MBA, the Master of Management in Nonprofit Organizations, and also graduates of the Master of Professional Accountancy, or the MPAC program. These students have earned their degrees to impact the business marketplace, the nonprofit community, and society at large for Christ, practicing business and management as their calling and their ministry. This is what we refer to as business as ministry or business for the common good. And it entails bringing our authentic Christian selves, our faith to our work and to all of life. And now speaking directly to you graduates, the faculty and staff of the Kroll School of Business have loved serving you, teaching you, guiding you, learning with you and from you, and we seek, as we seek to follow Christ in all of life. But now you are ready, ready to continue your journey with Christ beyond the classroom and into the places of service and influence where God takes you. As you go from this place equipped as servant leaders in your careers, we commission you with the countercultural words of Jesus, who said, whoever wants to become great among you must first become your servant. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Congratulations to our Kroll School of Business graduates and to the families. Please be seated. We will now have a special presentation of the Biola Bell. The ringing of the bells in churches and cathedrals traditionally calls the faithful to worship. This bell on our commencement stage today, along with the five bells of Biola Tower, as a part of the original set of seven, 11 bells rang from the top of Biola's original bell tower in downtown Los Angeles more than a century ago, calling students to worship. And so it is as you graduating students leave this place, for Paul tells us that worship is presenting our bodies in every place at every time, as living sacrifices to God, Romans 12.1. As we rang this bell, for many of you at your undergraduate orientation on this lawn, as you enter this university, your graduation today from Biola is the entrance to a new beginning of your service of worship in the world. Graduates, please take out your bell from your gift bag. And when I ring this bell, please ring yours as well. Now I ring this bell on the behalf of class of 2020 and 2021. All right, President Corey, on behalf of the faculty of Biola University, it is my honor to present to you these candidates who have completed all of the requirements of their respective degrees. Will all graduating students please rise? All right, here we go. And so it is on behalf of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees in the state of California, I confer upon you, graduates of Biola University, your respective degrees with all of the honors and rights pertaining thereto. Congratulations. If you're an undergraduate, you can turn your tassels. You have now all graduated from Biola University.
May God bless you as you use this education to serve others and reflect in word and deed the, the gospel of Jesus. So you can all be seated, graduates, and the first row is now going to be guided by our ushers to the stage for the presentation of diplomas. Science and Business Administration, Michael Adu. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Puya Amadi Nia. Graduating, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Kenneth McLean Eric II. Graduating summa cum laude, bachelor, with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Lydia Batanghari. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jazz Alexis Ben. Graduating summa cum laude, with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Christian Peterson Beyer. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Ross Brandt. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Annie Lynn Bristow. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Brandon Tyler Brown. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and Computer Science, Alec Burns. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Kenneth Carrillo. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Management, Joseph Castro Reo. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Michael Cataldo. Gradu graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Management, Jean Chang. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Nic Nicholas Chang. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Joshua H. Choi. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Taylor Noel Clark. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Joseph Benjamin Cohen. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jackson King Collins. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Caitlin Elizabeth Condon. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Grace Elizabeth Cooper. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Noah Tyler Curry. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Abby Noel Danskin. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Alethea A. Darvartanian. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Deborah Ann Darvartanian. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Rachel Carly Doncel. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, 
Esti Marie Drott. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Sarah Ann Duran. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Bryn N. Fieldhouse. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Mark David Foreman. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Michael Anthony Fritchman. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Grant Joseph Ganther. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Danielle J. Georgia. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jaylianne Marie Guadalupe. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Zach Forrest Hall. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Clay Joseph Henderson II. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Aaron Michael Hokelnin. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Peter Daniel Humphreys. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Aaron David Jackson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Rachel Marie Jackson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Joanna Guevara Havelina. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Joshua Manuel J. Sudison. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Caleb Joe. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Devin Johnson. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Grace Abigail Jordan. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Megan Joseph. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Michelle Hannah Kim. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Samuel Sol Kim. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Yana Kim. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Caleb James Koopman. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Connor Scott Kostecka. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Ashley Elizabeth Craning. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Drew Michael Kuyacic. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Alyssa T. Kwong. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Alexander Grace Landis. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Management, Carol Lynn Langdon. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Brandon Yoonjoon Lee. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Emmett Christopher Lee. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Nicole E. Lee. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Stena Lee. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Tony Naim Lee. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Lena Lemon. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Zach Lucky. 
graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Nicole Helene Lujan. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jack Alexander McDonald. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jack Bennett Maley. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Michael Alexander Martinez. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Andrea Michelle Martinez Centeno. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Amber Marie McFarlane. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Megan Elizabeth, Elizabeth McNeese. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Nick Terry Malott. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Alicia Athalia Monteroso. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jasmine Sukyung Malali. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Ruth Elizabeth Munoz. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jacob Corey Newport. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Luke Kenneth Nichols. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Katrina Marie Poglinawan. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Gunn Park. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Alicia Perez Lenez. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Tyler Samuel Piston. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Madeline Elizabeth Prider. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Michaela Joy. Prior. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Gabriela Julian Ramos. Graduating with a Business of Science in Business Administration, James C. Ramos. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Kate Grace Reynolds. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Rachel Paige Reynolds. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Rebecca J. Richardson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Amber Danielle Rizzi. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Accounting, excuse me, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Jenna Evelyn Robertson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Lauren Celeste Rodriguez. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jeff David Sarwano. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Kaylin Marie Scholl. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, John Dunyong Shin. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Javon Singleton. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Peter Hillman Smith. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Josh Nathan Sorley. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Michael Paul Sosi. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Zachary Jacob James Sumick. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business, Business Administration, Micah Bannerman Tarr. 
Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Coleman Graham Thompson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Garrison Wayne Thompson. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Isabel Marie Thompson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Tyrell J. Thompson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Andrew X. Tomsic. <laughs> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Janice Chua. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Melissa Vincente. Graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Wendy Sue Walker. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Crystal Wang. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Caleb Watson. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Aaron Werrikan. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Zachary Edward Wismer. <clears throat> Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Jordan K. Wong. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Alex Wright. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Michael Alexander Wymore. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Jamie Budwig. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Joseph Cruz. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Naomi Lashambal Kankino Maigua. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Sophia Krista Car Carnezes. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Otto Meyer. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Martha Makeda Murray. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Alexander Neenan. Graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Wilson Sebastian. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Brenda Velasco. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Shioli Chiwang. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Zakia Alicia Wright. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Derek T. Yim. Graduating with a Master of Business Administration, Deborah Yu. Graduating with a Master of Management in Nonprofit Organization, Vicki Lynn Best. Graduating with a Master of Management in Nonprofit Organizations, Lester Larios. Graduating with a Master of Management in Nonprofit Organizations, Vicki Wrigley. Graduating with a Master of Professional Accountancy, Caitlin Marie Cataldo. Graduating with a Master of Professional Accountancy, Melinda Christine Ross. 
graduating with a Master of Professional Accountancy, Wakana Soki. Graduating with a Master of Professional Accountancy, Caroline Claire Wyatt. Graduating with a Master of Professional Accountancy, Karen In Liang. Well, there you have it, the class of 2021 and 2020. Let's give it up one more time. So graduates, you have reached this milestone in your educational journey. I'm sure it's a journey that has been at times exhausting, at times exhilarating, sometimes maybe taking you to new heights and maybe even some new depths. It's a journey that maybe at times has made you question and struggle in ways that you never anticipated, but it is a journey that is now over. It's over, and as you depart from here, as I said earlier, you're gonna be joining a community of Biola alumni around the world, making a difference for the good, for the cause of Christ. And I trust, I do, I trust that Biola has impressed upon you that you must take the challenges of this world seriously. You must be a light where there is darkness. We pray that you are a voice of hope when there's so much despair and a steward of kindness in a world of hostility. You must be what the prophet Isaiah calls the repair of the breach, fixing those things that are broken. So I charge you graduates to be ambassadors of Christ, upholding the biblical virtues of truth and integrity and sacrifice and justice and compassion. I challenge you to live selflessly. I challenge you to define yourselves not in terms of, of what you do or who you impact or what your legacy might be, but I challenge you to define yourself in Jesus. And it's in his name that I commission you right now, challenging you to bear the mark of the gospel in your life whenever you can, pointing others to Christ's amazing grace. So go now in the name of the one who was born in a manger, died on a cross, raised again the third day, and will one day come again. So graduates, one more time, would you please stand up? So I'm gonna give you a charge while you're standing and it's only a one sentence short charge and when I'm done, I want you to, with energy, say these words, the words we will. So graduates of Bible University, classes of 2020, 2021, as God has called you, will you commit to being a light to the world? There you go, you will, of course. And I want you to know that those who are watching online, sitting around you, this company of witnesses, guests celebrating with you, graduates today. I'm gonna to ask you also, those of you who are sitting, to follow my charge by also saying the words we will. So to those of you who have supported these students in their journey, I ask you, will you join me in praying for and encouraging those you know of these graduates as they leave Biola University today? All right. Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of we wills out there. So by all the graduates, you're going to be well covered, and now it's time to go. Yeah. Not just to your dinners, your celebrations, parties, whatever else you're going to go to, but it's time to go in the spirit of the one who calls you disciples to a world that needs you, the love you embody, the grace you radiate, the convictions you bear, the courage you'll muster, the wisdom and knowledge you possess, go now to the next leg of your journey with the hope and knowledge that indeed to live is Christ. 
I'm going to ask all of us to stand and join our graduates for the benediction by Professor Lamir Xavier. Professor. Let's pray. Gracious and loving God, King of glory, we come before the throne of grace to present the graduates of the Crow School of Business as they and their families celebrate this memorable milestone, a passage, a completion, an inauguration. As we all rejoice, we acknowledge your provision and the many blessings that have made this moment real and so special. In gratitude, we pray for the parents, spouses, siblings, children, and the many other relatives and friends who have supported the journey of our graduates. In gratitude, we pray for the faculty and staff of this university who have cared, loved, and challenged our graduates along this academic journey. With hope, we pray that each one graduating here today will always find the strength and the wisdom that comes from, your, to re, from you to represent your son and everything he stands for. Lord Almighty, please enable them to stay true to their dreams and their faith for your glory, to discern your will for their lives, and to use their gifts and talents wisely in service to you. Bless their professional lives from this day on with goodness and success, and please allow your spirit to be with them always. In Jesus' name, amen. Please remain at your seats until an usher dismisses you. When you're dismissed, please be sure to stay at least six feet apart from those not in your family. Thank you.